leave too much of a mark. I think it would go back on it. Whoa! No way. There's no way. I'm back. Let's continue on with the ride. Oh. All right. Smell of outdoor. Smell of dog poop. I wonder if I ran over some dog poop. Last time I was here, I got <laughs> ran over some dog poop. Let me put all this down a little. Gear down. Okay. A lot of things I gotta remember in making these videos. Nice day. It's an overcast day. Usually that's good for the Insta 361. You don't get any of the uh, lens flare, and uh, everything should be not so contrasty, and uh, should look really good. Nice decomposed granite trail. A little wet, but uh, drying out. Feels compact. Trail clothes do not enter. Really? Are they working on it or something? I'm curious. I mean, I can always turn around. They must be, I wonder if they're talking about the uh, the outdoor, the trail along the uh, river. There's supposed to be a trail, but the river has, uh, is uh, rising out there. So I'm wondering if that's what they're talking about. I want to take a look actually. And uh, also the, the trail itself, I mean, it's collapsing out there. So I'm wondering if that's what they're also talking about there. Oh, I feel something hit me. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Wow. A lot of water is coming out of here, as you can see what they're talking about. A lot of water. I don't know where it's coming from. Well, I guess they designed it so it drains out of here. Let's have a look here. And gear down a little. Whoa! <laughs> wow. This is... This is like the most I've ever seen this water, the river, come up. Look how high this is. I have to turn the bike a little bit just to get it to lean right. Okay, so it doesn't fall on me. Wow. <laughs> look. Look at this. The river is this high. Wow. All the water is coming down from north. And uh, it's just causing the, the river to, uh, to move. I don't know if you can see that here. Let me see if I can zoom in. Hey, look at that. You can actually see the river uh, flowing really fast. I've never seen it flow this fast. There's like a lumber. There's like a tree floating out there. Let me see if I can get that. Do you see that tree floating? Here it comes. You see that floating tree? Hopefully you do. A little floating tree right there. Wow. So, yeah, trail is definitely not available. The water, some of the water 
is actually, okay, that's why it's flooding. The river water is coming through here, going around, and then passing through under here. I'm literally on a peninsula right now, surrounded by uh, the river, really. That's where the water is coming from. I was wondering where that water was coming from. Wow. That is insane. That is insane. Other than actually flooding, which I think it did flood during uh, Hurricane Harvey out here. I, nobody was allowed to come out here. Then again, nobody, I don't think anybody came out here this far. Uh, so this is, that's the river. That's part of the river overflowing out here. That's what all this is. Wow. I was wondering where all this water was coming from. Wow, I wonder what it looks like on the overlook. On the outlook out there on the other side. I'll check it out. This too, gear too. Let me go straight. A little muddy right here. At least it's soft. So, that's the trail I guess they're talking about. When I, I think when they're talking about trail, they're talking about a hiking trail. It's kind of interesting. I mean, every time I come out here, it's a different scenario and different situation where where uh, things uh, are different. The environment has definitely changed. The environment has definitely changed. See what it looks like over here. Every time I come out here, it's always something different. It's never the same. It's never the same. Seasons change, the weather changes. I come out here during the night, to come out here during the day. Man, just every time it feels like a different trail. Leaves are falling now and Overcast gives it a different lighting. Um, same, same, same route, just a different, different trail. This one says trail closed, do not enter. This one says the same thing. Let's see how much water log that's gone out here. It's uh, dangerous, but it's beautiful at the same time, you know, I mean, I'm not trying to risk my life. If I need to turn around here, so, ooh, it's really a lot of water, ooh. Okay. Um, uh, I see where, I'm not sure if I'm okay going over this because it is really muddy. If, if I stay in the middle, I think I'll be okay. I'm gonna go on to, I should have, uh, okay. I'm gonna go on to, I'm switch to gear one. That gives me a lot of torque. Uh, worst case scenario, if I have to put my foot down, this is most likely from the river. So this tells you how uh, how much over flooding it's, it is. But uh, go in the middle, go straight. Okay, good. I didn't leave too much of a mark. I think I can go back on it. Whoa. <laughs> No way. There's no way. Wow. This is the river over flooding here. So if you look straight ahead, 
you look straight ahead, you can see, uh, I think that's the, uh, the bridge that takes you up. Uh, that's underwater. <laughs> this whole place is underwater. Uh, look at it. This whole place is underwater. Wow. Well, that cuts my trip a little short. Just want to see how much it was inundated, but it's definitely inundated. Time for me to turn around. That's the, uh, the river here. If it, if it starts uh, rising anymore, this sports park is definitely going to be flooded out. So I'm going to take it easy here. I'm going to go the same way I came in. I'm going to try to. Okay, not too bad. All right. Don't be afraid to get off your bike and uh, assess the uh, terrain. It's better than falling down and cracking your head open or, worst case, falling on some poop on your face. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you're the one riding the bike. It's your life, so do what you need to do. up the gear too. Yeah, I learned uh, when I'm riding through soggy or muddy, uh, put it on gear one, granny gear, and uh, it gives you a little bit of torque without spinning out. So you're not going to spin out and uh, you won't stop and you'll have enough power to push through. That's what I found out anyway. That was nice. I think I might even, uh, let me just take this trail. Take this trail all the way. See what comes of it. Okay, not too bad. I don't think it's too muddy here, and if it is, I'll just uh, get on the grass. So it looks like the river is overflowing out here. That's what's going on. The river's overflowing. Oh, darn gnats flying in my eye. Oh. All right, so much, so much for the sports park. Looks, oh. I don't know why, but they're coming into my right eye for some reason. These little gnats. Where am I? Let's see if I can fit through there. I'm going to Granny first here. And I see if I can fit through. I think this side right here. I think I'm able to fit through. Pedal assist a little higher. Pedal assist five, three, seven. I've got a car behind me. Enjoy the ride, everybody. Enjoy the ride.
doing something a little different here. Anyways, it's time to switch out that camera or switch cameras. Hopefully this one didn't fog up. Okay, everybody. I'm back. Different angle. Just decided to slow down a little bit and come out here and take a look. Just checking, doing the brakes. Just, it squeaks when I'm slowly pulling on it. But it stops as soon as I uh, pull hard. Hmm. Interesting. Anyways, I'm also gonna uh, do my glasses here again. All those gnats started coming in. All right. Anyways. I'm enjoying my day riding around. It's all I do here, ride around, ride on this bicycle. Which I enjoy riding around a lot, quite a bit. So. All right, now I see the sun's out. Now I see all the gnats flying out here. Jeez, there's a lot of them. I have to swerve around just to avoid them. Probably should ride on the street. That'd make it a little easier for me. Anyways, I'm headed to the clubhouse. That's where I'm headed to. speed here. All right. That breeze feels good. Oh. So I think there's a lot of there's a lot of moisture in the uh, ground. So one of the other reasons why I'm not off roading, I don't think the ground can take any more water, so it's kind of pooling up on top. Give us some time, let the water uh, go down a little bit. Enjoy the ride, everybody. A little corner here. See this levy. Is it full? No, this levy's drained out. 
I think, uh, yeah, it's drained out. I think a week ago was, was pretty full. See how much time I got. I got, I got some time. I can go around and turn around. Matter of fact, let me go out this way, come out the other side. That'd be a lot easier. Let's see. Oh, nope. Nope. Okay. Good. Going straight. All right. down two battery bars. We've got three battery bars remaining. Got a lot I got a lot of weight and drag on this bike so but considering considering uh, all the weight and drag I got on this bike it still goes, it still performs. So I'm okay with it. I got my lunch. I got my iPad to download and charge my batteries, my uh, my cameras. That's the point of it. So, and plus I got my emergency supplies and and I'm carrying the pannier bag which is empty right now. But I'll probably uh, I'll probably put all my stuff in it when I get to the uh, clubhouse to air out. Put my body armor in there. I roll up my body armor and put it into the pannier bag. It fits. It doesn't close all the way, but I can actually close the pannier bag. I can't roll it over three times, just once. But it does the job. Go down pedal assist two, gear three, gear two. All right. All right. Huh, I enjoyed that trip. I hope you all did too. I think I left enough time on the uh, audio that it doesn't cut out. Oof. So that was definitely one hour. One hour ride so far. Okay. Oh, look at that view. All right, everyone, hope you all enjoyed the ride. Bye.